Hi Dresser, Katie Sweeney here. Today we're going to draw a cappuccino. So let's get started. To draw this cute drink, let's start by drawing a long curve. So I'm going to come right here and this is basically where the whipped cream is sitting on top of the cat's hat, head, I mean. So say about right there, I'm just going to draw this curve. And then from there, I'm going to come back to where we started and I'm going to draw curve down. So this is going to be kind of like the side of the cat, cat's face, and then another bigger curve for the cheek area. So everything's nice and round coming out. Then from there, let's come back to this area right here. and We're going to start to draw the face so that we know what we're working with. So now that we've created this curve, this is kind of like where the eyes are going to be at this curve. I'm going to come about right here next to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw a circle for one eye. Then I'm going to come imagine this is still coming at this curve like the top. And about right here next to this eye, I'm going to draw a tiny little nose right there. Kind of like this little triangle. Then I'm going to come next to that triangle and draw another circle for the other eye. There. So everything is at this nice little curve. Then from there, we're going to draw the mouth and um, mouth area right underneath this nose. So in the center, I'm going to come down from this nose and give it a curve and another curve there. And let's come back to the eyes and I'm just going to give a little highlight since it's too small to make them draw so cute eyes. I'm just going to put one highlight and shade them in. And same thing here. There. And then let's see here. Let's come back to this area. Now that we have this in, we can come about, that's long enough. I'll come about right here and draw a ear for a cat. So go up nice and high, round off the tip and come back down. Then I'm going to draw the other side of the head. So nice big curve and I'm aiming to end the same area on the other side, same level I mean. There. So let's come back into this ear and add some details. So I'm going to come in to draw the inside and I'll come right here and just zigzag a little, little bit for the fur and then connect. And then now let's draw the whipped cream. So I'm going to come right here where we started and I'm just going to start to draw a mound whipped cream. So nice and round going up. Oh, and then one big dollop at the top and curve it, bring it in oh, and then we're just going to go ahead and finish it off on the other side. There. <laughs> so cute, right? And we can come in here. You can do this when you're coloring so it's not so harsh but I just want to draw these curves in here so we know what we're working with here, the dollop of whipped cream. Okay, so we have our whipped cream in and we can definitely add some sprinkles. So it's all up to you what you want to do up here. If you want to add some sprinkles, just, I'm just going to very lightly draw some circles here and there. And this was totally inspired by the cap, when I Google cappuccino, by this beautiful drawing. But I'm not too sure who the artist is, so I'm not going to say who the artist is because I don't know. <laughs> but thank you for this beautiful drawing and inspiring me to create this cappuccino based on your drawing. Okay, so I'll say I'll leave it at that for that many sprinkles. And then from there, let's draw the other ear. So I'm just going to pop it up right here. Curve and bring it down. I tried my best to figure out who the original artist was but I could not make sure so I don't want to give the wrong person credit. 
Okay, so we have the other ear in. Then from there, let's um, start to make this a drink, right? So let's come out right here and I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve all the way across. There. And before I forget, let's add some whiskers. So one, two, and three. So hope you love my version and see how I changed it from the original. So right here, another whisker on that side. And then um, depending on your cat, how you want, you can make it the stripes. Uh, I'll put some stripes right here just to an indication of some stripes right here. And maybe here as well. Depends on what kind of cat you want to draw. And one more. There. Okay, so then from there, let's draw the cup. So I'm going to come back right here and draw a curve and a curve. And we're just going to follow our top curve for the lip of our cup. Oops. Okay, nice and wobbly. Okay. From there, I'm going to draw two angle lines that come down to create our cup. So I'll say about right here and here. Just make sure it's as wide as the cat's head. And I'm going to bring an angle line down. So I'll come over here. And here. I'm just going to go back and forth and try my best to make it about the same angle. One way you can do that is, um, let's say you wanna, let's, let's draw this angle first. So I'm gonna create one angle right here. Oh, say about that high, I mean that long. And then I'm going to imagine this as a straight line coming, oops, coming up. So it's about right here, right? So being this much space, I'm just going to imagine about the same amount of space on the other side. So say about right here, and I can bring this line down just like the other side and give myself a point. And that way it's just a little bit easier to figure out the angle. So I'll just bring that in to that point. There, so hopefully you understood that. So wherever you end, bring it up to there, and however much space, same thing over here, and then bring that down and that will help you figure out your angle. Okay, so now that we're at the same level, let's go ahead and just go ahead and connect it with a soft curve all the way across. And I'm gonna come in here to the bottom and draw another curve. For the bottom, there. And if you like, you can come in here and just dent it in a little bit for the bottom. Okay, so now let's come back over here and I'm going to draw some drizzle right here. To make it extra cute. So this could be like the cream or some kind of drizzle, different flavor, whatever you want it to be, right? Okay, so then now that I have that in, I'm going to be drawing a big circle for the logo. So because it, it is pretty big, I'm gonna use my circle template just to make it a little easier for me to draw. But if you're drawing small, you don't need a template. You can just go ahead and draw a circle. But I'll say about right here, I'm trying to find my center. <laughs> okay, I have to make sure I'm straight here. Okay, so then now I have that. I'm going to go ahead and just trace a circle. And then I need to draw the inner circle. So I'll just use this one right here. And trace my inner circle. Oops. Okay, so now I have my two circles in. Let's come in here and I'm going to draw a paw, um, cat's paw right here. And I'm gonna start right here at the bottom. Just draw this ovalish shape. 
that's a little bit higher right there. And then we're going to draw four ovals. So two of them, bigger ones, and then two smaller ones. Right there. There, so we have our cat's paw in. And then um, let's come over here and I'm going to draw a heart right in this area. I'm going to come a little bit lower because the word cappuccino is much bigger. So I'll just come right about in this area and draw a heart just like the other side. Give it a little angle. And then um, if you like, you can write the word cappuccino. So oh, let's see, hopefully I'll to turn my body <laughs> hopefully i'll get this spacing correct hopefully and oh so i just want to make sure my o is about right here on the other side okay so here we go c a t p U C Oh no, I think C A T. Oh no, am I spelling it wrong? I think so. <laughs> Hold on one second, let me check. Okay, so I'm back. Yes, I did spell it wrong. <laughs> there should be two P's, so I'll have to erase. Sorry about that. C A T P P U. So I have to get rid of this C as well. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, so wait for that to dry a little bit. So I got another P. And now, okay, U. And let's see. C. C. I. Oh no. Okay, there. See, I had to make my end really big. <laughs> so I can just come back in here and adjust everything. And with the magic of the computer, I will fix that. But hopefully you get that idea. So just want to write the word cappuccino all the way across. And then we're going to write coffee. So I'll come right here. C. O. Hope I do a better job of coffee here since it's shorter. E. E. There. Okay, so now we're done. <laughs> Cappuccino coffee. And last but not least, let's draw a straw. I almost forgot. Let's come about right here. And I'll just draw an angle line down into our whipped cream. Thicken it up for our beautiful green straw. So they're all done. I really hope you love this cappuccino drink and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. And just remember cuties, depending on whatever kind of drink you like, say chocolate or caramel or um, I don't know, white chocolate, that will determine the color of your cat. So I really hope you love this and thanks so much for watching. And if you did love it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.